Metamorphosis. Have you ever seen a caterpillar turn into a butterfly? Or a tadpole become a frog? It's pretty cool, right? This transformation is called metamorphosis. Today, we are going to learn more about it. All living organisms go through a life cycle. At birth, some living things look exactly like their parents. Others, like humans, look like their parents but have different traits. And others look much different than their parents. Metamorphosis is one type of life cycle. The word metamorphosis comes from the Greek words meta, which means change, and morph, meaning form. Therefore, the definition of metamorphosis is change of form. If you think of a butterfly or frog, this makes sense. Each stage of metamorphosis includes adaptations to help the species survive to adulthood. There are two types of metamorphosis, complete and incomplete. Complete metamorphosis consists of four stages, and incomplete involves three. Sometimes incomplete metamorphosis is called gradual or simple metamorphosis. Today, we are going to focus on the metamorphosis of insects and amphibians. Let's start with insects. Nearly 90% of all insects go through the four stages of complete metamorphosis. Insects like butterflies, moths, flies, and bees. These four stages are egg, larva, pupa, and adult. As you probably guessed, the egg stage happens when a female insect lays an egg. Inside the egg is an embryo, and the embryo develops inside the egg. Here is a butterfly egg. Next up is larva. This stage happens when the egg hatches. Larva molt or shed their skin and have an exoskeleton. If we're looking at the life cycle of a butterfly, a caterpillar is the larva. Pupa is an inactive or resting stage where the insect's body transforms. Can you guess what the pupa stage of a butterfly is? If you said chrysalis, you're right. The final stage of complete metamorphosis is adult, and in our example, that means a beautiful butterfly. This means that an insect now has all its adult parts, like wings, six legs, and a tenny. And female insects can now continue the life cycle as they reproduce and lay eggs. Wow! Insects like dragonflies, cockroaches, and grasshoppers use incomplete metamorphosis, which only has three stages. Egg, nymph, and adult. Like complete metamorphosis, incomplete begins with the egg stage. This is followed by the nymph stage. Nymphs eat the same food as adults and look like adults without their wings. This is also the time when most of the feeding and growing takes place. When we look at a grasshopper's metamorphosis, we see the amount of growth that takes place as the grasshopper grows into adulthood. An adult has wings. And the female insects can now reproduce and lay eggs. Pretty cool, right? Similar to insects, amphibians like frogs, toads, and newts also undergo metamorphosis. Amphibians complete a three-stage life cycle, egg, larva, and adult. Using our frog friends as examples, we see the egg stage happen in bodies of water. The larvae are what the eggs hatch into. In this case, it's tadpoles. Larvae have gills and long tails, and they swim like fish. Eventually, they grow legs. Adult frogs hop out of the water and begin living on land. Here's an interesting fact about an adult frog. Its legs make up about one-fourth of its body's mass. That is a big change from when it was a tadpole. Wow! We have learned some majestic metamorphosis facts. Let's review. True or false, there is only one type of metamorphosis for all creatures. False. Fill in the blank 
Blank metamorphosis has four stages. Complete. Name the three stages of incomplete metamorphosis. Egg, nymph, and adult. Fabulous job, metamorphosis mavens. Metamorphosis is a vital process that helps species adapt and survive to adulthood. The next time you see a caterpillar or a tadpole, you can remember the stages of metamorphosis and know what comes next in their life cycles. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.